All right, here is a little quiz on net force. Two questions. The first question, forces can be represented by drawing an blank. The size of the blank represents the blank of the blank. Yeah, I'll let you fill that out to the best of your ability based on what you've learned so far. It has to make sense. And the question two shows two wagons and you're going to figure out the net force acting on each of the wagons. So go ahead, pause the video, solve the problems, fill in the blanks, then turn the video back on and we'll go over it together and see how you did. So go ahead and pause the video now. All right, let's go ahead and answer this. Number one, forces can be represented by drawing an arrow. The size of the arrow represents the magnitude or size of the force. Question two, determine the net force on each wagon below. Well, the first one we have is positive 65 newtons plus negative 30 newtons, so we can set that up. That is, let's see, positive 65 newtons plus negative 30 newtons. And that's going to give us a net force of positive 35 newtons. In other words, 35 newtons acting to the right. And the next problem down here, we have positive 12 newtons and negative 20 newtons. So we'll set the problem up. Positive 12 newtons plus negative 20 newtons. And that gives us a net force of negative 8 newtons. In other words, 8 newtons acting to the left. Hopefully you did well on those. If you didn't, go back over the questions, go back over the the explanation of net force, and then come back and look at the questions again.